Rebels reported that they managed to shoot down another Ukrainian Air Force transport plane. This happened over the town of Torres in the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic. July 17, 2014. Russian propagandists were the first to report the downing of the plane in the skies over eastern Ukraine. However, their rhetoric changed within the hour. It was not a Ukrainian military plane that was shot down by Russia-supported militants on the occupied Ukrainian territories, but a passenger one. There were 298 people on board, 80 of whom were children. No one survived. The joint investigation team, consisting of representatives from Australia, Belgium, Malaysia, the Netherlands, and Ukraine, began to investigate the crash. They, like the independent Bellingcat investigators, came to a clear conclusion. Today, the JIT concluded that the BUK missile launcher that was used to shoot down MH17 originated from the 53rd Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces. The Buk system was delivered to Ukraine from the Russian city of Kursk. And then, after the strike, it was returned to Russia. But that's how Moscow, which claimed after the tragedy that an investigation was needed, is responding to all the results. Here's the fragment of the BBC program with the spokesperson of the Russian president. With respect, we, the, prosecu the we prosecuting, haven't seen team, any the prosecuting team has gathered evidence for many, many months. This happened more than two years ago. It has been an exhaustive investigation. They went to Moscow. They asked for help from you. Your different agencies, they say, did not fully cooperate. But they have come up with these conclusions. You can call them preliminary if you like. But are you denying the truth of what they say? Well, first of all, uh, we cannot accept as a final truth what they say. And that's how the Russian policy in this theme was built. Anyway, five years after the catastrophe, the International Joint Investigation Team named four suspects who were believed to have been involved in the transportation and combat use of the book system. In November 2022, the District Court of The Hague sentenced three of them to life imprisonment. It feels good right now. Uh, this is uh, part of justice for us. It's not the whole thing yet, but it's a good start. However, the decision was made in absentia. Russia did not agree to extradition. Russia has never tried to avoid any responsibility if it had that responsibility on its shoulder. Those facts that we were presented as evidence of our guilt do not satisfy us. There's not any proof there. Among the convicts is Igor Girkin, also known as Igor Strelkov, the self-proclaimed Minister of Defense of the puppet DPR. By the way, he is currently behind bars in Russia. However, he was sent to the colony not because of the downing of the Boeing, but for messages on his Telegram channel that the Russian authorities recognized as extremist. But there's one more person who approved the use in Ukraine of a Russian missile system that shot down the plane. At least international prosecutors said they had found strong indications of such actions from the side of that man. And his name is Vladimir Putin. Uh, we do have strong indications about his decision making, uh, but we do not reach the high bar. Uh, and beside that, because at this moment, uh, Putin is still head of state, he is head of state, he has an immunity. So only um, after there, he is not a head of state, we can look into what's next. However, they said evidence of Putin's and other Russian officials' involvement was not concrete enough to lead to a criminal conviction, and that they would end their probe without further prosecutions. We've reached our limits. We've done everything that we can within our limits, and the next answers, they lay in Russia. And as long as there's no cooperation in Russia, those answers will remain there. Even after 10 years, the wounds from this disaster have not yet healed, said the Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, visiting Kharkiv in March. But new crimes by Russians have been added. <laughs>